Hello and thanks for joining us. This is the Signature TV News Update. I am Ifunanga Ilodianga. In the headlines, the right to information is the oxygen of the social economic rights of citizens, EFCC. Buhari swears in three INEC national commissioners. Senate President Ahmed Lawan swears in Jariwe Agyom as senator representing Cross River North Senatorial District. And now the details. Jeff Onjemfu, the Ascensive Director of Freedom of Information Department of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, said, the right to information is the oxygen of the attainment of political, civil, and socio-economic rights of citizens. Onjemfu made this statement while speaking on the second edition of the Corruption Tory Follow Us Fight Corruption webinar series on Tuesday. Onjemfu enjoined citizens to collaborate with EFCC as the commission is poised more than ever before to lead the corruption fights. The FOI Act, it talks about what the public should know, the proactive disclosure of the things you do. Now, apart from that, we have the annual report of the EFCC. The annual report captures the entire activities of the commission, what, um, what the public ought to know about us. We don't hide anything. We tell you about our conventions, even to the extent of investigations that are ongoing, except for those exchanges which you can make disclosures. So we, we have a lot of things going on. Then we, we as, as I said before, we have a very unique FOI poster, which we are going to populate even higher than what we, what we have right now. And we'll keep trying to do that, to let the public have a public engagement, to tell them about the activities of the commission, which is what we want to do, to lead the vanguard about the right to know, the right access to information about the institution, about the EFCC. Because as we rightly pointed out, by Shao just pointed out, when people get to know that the right to information, having access to institutions and what public institutions are doing, then it will deepen the fight against corruption. The third edition of the Corruption Tory Follow Us Fight Corruption webinar series supported by the MacArthur Foundation, will come up next month. President Muhammad Buhari has sworn in three national commissioners of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. They include Dr. Baba Bila, representing the Northeast Zone, Professor San Adam, representing North Central Zone, and Professor Abdullahi Abdu, representing Northwest Zone. The swearing-in took place on Wednesday just before the commencement of the Federal Executive Council meeting, which held at the conference room of the First Lady's Office of the State House. Vice President Yemi Osimbajo and Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Bose Mustafa, were among those physically present in attendance. Also present were the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, the Head of Civil Service of the Federation, Folashade Yemi Esan and other ministers attended virtually from their various offices in Abuja. Senate President Ahmed Lawan has sworn in Jaribe Agion as to represent Cross River North Senatorial District. Senator Jaribe took the oath of office on Wednesday immediately after the state of plenary. The oath of office was administered by the clerk of the Senate, Ibrahim Dauda El Laden. Jaribe, a member of the People's Democratic Party PDP, replaces Stevie Nodey as a senator representing Cross River North. His swearing in comes on the heels of a court ruling in Calabar on the 30th of July 2021, which declared Jaribe winner of the December 5, 2020 Cross River North senatorial by elections. The troops of the Operation Safe Heaven and Joss have cracked down the drug syndicate and recovered 248 blocks of substance suspected to be cannabis estimated to about 7.5 million naira. Military Information Officer Major Ishaku Takwa said in a statement that the substance which was tracked down on Tuesday, September 14, was concealed in the Toyota Camry car. The suspects, ex-corporal Essien Friday, a 60-year-old retired armed personnel, and 50-year-old Ibrahim Ali were arrested by troops during stop and search operation along the Manchok Road in Kara local government area of Kaduna State as they claimed that they were contracted to convey the illicit substance to Yola, Adamawa State, from Ondo State. According to Major Takwa, the suspects and items recovered have been handed over to the National Drug 
Law Enforcement Agency, NDLA, for further investigation. In business, Nigeria's inflation ratio has dropped by 0.37% to 17.0% year on year in August, from the 17.3% recorded in July. This was said in the Consumer Price Index report just released by the National Bureau of Statistics. According to the report, Composite Food Index also dropped to 20.30% against 21.03% in July. The rise in the food index was caused by increase in price of bread, cereal, milk, cheese, egg, oil and fat, potatoes, yam and other tubers. At the same time, the country's urban inflation rate fell to 17.59% year-on-year from 18.01% recorded two months ago. Rural inflation rate tampered to 16.43% from a previous 16.75%, while core inflation, which includes the price of volatile agricultural produce, dropped by 0.31% to 13.4% in from 13.72% recorded in July. On the foreign scene, the European Union is to donate over 200 million COVID-19 vaccine doses to low-income countries. More than doubling its present pledge, the bloc chief said on Wednesday, the extra doses announced by the European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen came on to top the 250 million shots the EU had already promised to give to other countries, particularly ones in Africa. Von der Leyen told the Strasbourg Assembly that the donation is an investment in solidarity and it's an investment also in global health. She recognized the disparity that has emerged between the economic advanced countries, such as the United States and those in Europe, which have pushed ahead in vaccinating the majority of their population against the coronavirus, and poorer nations that are struggling to get hold of supplies. She said Europe has done more than any other region to get vaccine doses to other countries noting that half of the 1.5 billion vaccines produced on the territory have been exported abroad. In sports, Nigerian forward Victor Osime has been named in Napoli's 21-man squad for Thursday's UEFA Europa League clash against Leicester City. The encounter will take place at King Power Stadium. Osime picked up an injury in Napoli's home win against Juventus last Saturday and has trained separately from his teammates this week. The 22-year-old, who has scored one goal in two appearances for the Patnosal this season, travelled to England with his teammates on Wednesday and is in line to feature against Foxes. Leicester City also expected to parade Nigerian duo Wilfred Ndidi and Kelechi Ihanacho in the game. Before we end the news, a recap of our major stories. The right to information is the oxygen of social economic rights of citizens, EFCC. Buhari swears in three INEC national commissioners. Senate President Ahmed Lawan swears in Jariwe Agyom as senator representing Cross River North Senatorial Districts. Safety and security begins with you. Be patriotic. Report any suspicious activity to law enforcement agencies. Please stay safe. That's the Signature TV News updates. On behalf of my producer, Nasir Usman, I am Ifunanya Ilodianya. Thanks for watching.